hello friends welcome back so today in this lecture we are going to see how can we find out hidden directories inside any website this falls under web penetration testing if you are into that then finding the hidden directories or the directories which are not visible to a normal user finding those can give us some more opportunities and windows to find out the more bugs inside that web app so without any further delay let's start First, what are the directories? Directories are folders on website. Various files are stored in different directories on web apps. Normally, there are a lot of directories on a normal web app. It is not easy for pen tester or hacker to check each directory. The, there is where directory enumeration comes in role. What this is saying that like the folders in our operating system, there are also folders present inside our website. Those are called directories. The different pages there, such as CSS pages, can be stored in a directory. Uh, JavaScript pages can be stored in a directory. Admin pages, that means those which are available to the admin, for example, dashboard and some maintenance stuff, settings, those are available to an admin inside a website. So those can be stored inside a folder or a directory. And what is directory enumeration? As the name suggests, it means enumeration of directories. Uh, enumeration basically means to find out all the directories on a website. In directory enumeration attack, we automate this process with few tools. We will look at them in the practical section. Automated tool will scan and spider go through every file the website for all the directories. What is the meaning of that? That means when you are performing a directory enumeration, our automated tool will scan and spider. Spidering means going to a page, then finding out a link, then going to that. There it may find other links, then they, it will also go to that. That means going through every file, the website for all the directories. And by this way, we can find out every directory is present in our website. Now, what directories look like? If you see to this uh, URL, then you can find out that pentestmonkey.net, this is an example, that means this is a domain and slash category is a directory, slash yap test is a directory, slash overview is a directory. That means this overview directory is present inside yap test, this yap test directory is present inside category and this belongs to this pentestmonkey.net domain. There may be other directories and this may be there may be also more uh, directories or pages inside that. This is an example. How this directory enumeration works? There is essentially no way for a user to know which files are found in which directories on a web server. Unless the whole web server has directory listing by default. Directory listing is a vulnerability present inside a website uh, which allows an user to find out what are the directories available to that site. Uh, this is the information type of vulnerability. So we'll come to that later. Now, uh, so what the attacker can do is to brute force hidden direct files and directories by sequentially visiting pages, find, defining in a word list. What this is saying? Uh, a word list is a list of all the different kind of words, or we can say in this case, all the different kinds of directories. That means we are providing the different names of the directories inside a file which is called word list now we are testing each and every name in that file with that url and if we get a 200 code response then we can say that uh, this directory is present and if we get a 404 response then we can say that it is not present now doing that individually checking each directory individually might be a long task so there are some automated tools which we will look the attack is of course very noisy and will show up fast in the logs. Uh, yeah, this is noisy because there will be 70% uh, of the directories which are not available. That means the 70% of the directories will be fake inside that word list and it will create more logs and we can be visible. But there is no other way to find out. So here are some tools which you can use for example go buster then we have our derp then our dirt search and then wasp zap these are the tools which are used for directory scanning and made by the wasp 
we will also look at them in the practical now what we have learned through this um, theory portion directories are folders on the website it is not possible for a person to check each and every directory manually therefore we use directory transversal attack to list all the directories on the web app and this is a vulnerability tools like gobuster ohasp zap derp uh, etc help us to automate this task let's get to the practical section here i am inside my kali uh, let's first open the terminal let me zoom that out for you now we need to install a tool called gobuster gobuster is not pre-installed so for installing that type sudo apt install gobuster and you can see it is already pre-installed uh, you may have to install that let's first go through the uh, cli tools and then we will move to a gui tool so the first tool we are going to see is called derp derp is a OASP tool you can type derp h to get the help this is a very uh, useful tool which you can use you can type derp and then you can paste the url of the website here i am testing portsrigger.net thus they allow us to scan their website but scanning of website needs legal permissions if you are trying this on any website which you have uh, no authorization then you might face troubles i am using this portsrigger.net for testing so dub portsrigger.net then you have to specify a word list for word list you can come to this folder let me show you and here it's user and it's in share word list um where is that yeah this one um yeah this one word list now you can see there are different kinds of word list or different types of word list available inside that uh, you can get to this derbuster and you can use this uh, word list for directory enumeration if i show you one for example let me open this out with mouse pad and here you can see these are the defined directories available this there is a this is a list of directories and there are more than 15,000 or 1 lakh directories available so you can use each of them now I will use the common one uh, for common one you can come to this derp folder this is also a, a collection of the directories and here we have common.txt this one is the smallest one so let us use that so slash usr slash share we need to enter the path for the directory and word list slash derb slash common dot text now press enter you can see it's calculating and it will scan for the open directories available see it's scanning and we have found one directory it's scanning it will take a long time as it will uh, test all the directories present so i'm skipping this portion but i hope you get an idea uh, uh, and if you don't use this uh, url then it will take this one uh, that means this common dot text as by default the default word list okay so you can try with others now let's move to another one gobuster this one is my favorite tool for directory scanning as it is more efficient than others so for using gobuster you have to install that first and then type gobuster dir hyphen u to specify the url here let's specify this url and you can use hyphen w to specify the word list for word list i am using slash usr slash share slash word list and then sorry word list slash derbuster uh, derbuster slash directory 
list 2.3 hyphen medium dot text and hyphen t to specify the outputs that means threads thread output i am specifying 30 threads and hyphen o to specify the output uh, i want to save this to test underscore ports wigger dot text so if you press enter you can see it's uh, scanning out all the directories and here you can see these are the different directories present now from here you can get the size 301 uh, it's blank and we another got a blog here is with the uh, with respect to the size you can find out that if there is any content inside that slash privacy this is also a directory so that's how you can use a directory scanning so there are the there might be more directories as present inside a website there might be uh, many directories present that depends on the size of the website now i am uh, just keeping that portion and getting back to the gui part now let's get into the gui part so that is that one is very easy you can type you can come to this menu option and type dir buster from here you have to type the website or the paste the name of the website https portsfigure.net number of threads you can specify according to you i am using 41 threads and here you have need to specify the word list let's browse that it's in root usr share and here we have word list uh, here here is the word list and derbuster 2.3 medium dot text now for file extension we want to search php js html html and let's also search for text now if you press start and come to this result view it will uh, scan for each and every folder and will show you the result okay we got an error for the first head is different to the second this might be for a reverse proxy since a reverse proxy is used and now you can find out that there is a the response and if you come to this tree view you can find out a more organized way or more organized result see svg icons logos bundles public directories so that's how directory scanning works i hope you liked the video and if you enjoyed that please give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts you can ask me to the comments and here ends our directory scanning we will meet in the next lecture